Of the countless horrifying stories that are coming out of Ukraine, many of them involve children. The images that you are about to see are disturbing, I will warn you. But it's important for the world to see the faces of these children and to hear their stories. These are pictures taken at the Zaporizhia Regional Children's Hospital. Doctors allowing the British publication The Telegraph to publish them, saying that they hope the images will make a strong impression on the world about the horrors of war, particularly on its youngest victims. Joining me now to explain these photos in greater detail is one of the reporters on this story, investigative journalist Tanya Kozireva. Uh, Tanya, these are tough pictures to look at. These kids in the middle of this, the biggest victims of this, can you tell us their stories? First, I'd like for you to tell us about Masha. And just to be clear, the headline on the story is Masha is 15, her body is broken, and Russians say she's a fake. Tell us about Masha. So the whole the whole scene that we witnessed, it was it was horrible and a nightmare. We um we entered this room, intensive care a room of the Regional Zaporizhia Hospital, and there was uh, three kids, and all of them, like two of them, was not in conscious, and uh, Masha was the only one who, you know, who was reacting uh, on what is going on. Uh, she, um, she, she could, she could speak, but uh, we we decided not to disturb her, um, and uh, we just saw, uh, you know, this grim picture of very young and beautiful uh, Ukrainian girl who is only 15 years old, but who already had uh, her right knee amputated, uh, her right um, leg, I mean, amputated about the knee. And uh, her uh, right hand is also shredded by the shrapnel that got into there, <clears throat> got into her. And Masha, I had to tell you, Masha is from uh, Polohe. This is uh, the small town near, near Zaporizhia. And um, it's a town where there is no military base and there is no uh, military objects. And... And she just caught this shrapnel in her, into her body while she was walking uh, around her town with her mother. So mother covered her from this shrapnel, but um, as her grandmother told us the story, this story, this grim story, she told us that uh, her mother covered her daughter, uh, it, but uh, when she, you know, when she woke up, she saw, you know, legs. Yeah. And like this, you know, this very grim picture. And um, when we spoke to grandmother, um, to Ma Ma Masha's grandmother, she um, she was crying. Valentina, she, you know, she, she she's like crushed, I think, forever, just because two dearest uh, members of her family uh, had this wound forever, you know. Um, yes, and, and I and, will say in your in your story, Tanya, we see the grandmother. She, I mean, the pain on her face. You also um, you also introduce <clears throat> your readers to Milena, who is an 11 year old who is uh, wounded and is attached to a ventilator. As you mentioned, one of the children who was unconscious. I think one of the stunning things about this is Russians don't believe these are real, right, Tanya? Yes, uh, Milena. Milena's story is even, uh, you know, it, it's it, it's even worse if it can be even compared. Probably not. Uh, Milena, her family was on the way from Mariupol, so they survived the siege. Uh, they survived this more than twenty days with no food, no electricity, no water. You know, and after all this, they were on the way. They you know, they were on the way to Zaporizhia, and then their car was shelled uh, on this big queue of cars that was trying to escape the siege. And um, this is one of the cases that we, you know, that we saw, and it was one of the cases when uh, the civilians in the cars who were trying to escape, there were, you know, they had they basically, again, they're damaged forever, I think. Um, yeah. 
yes, but the the story here is also very impressive just because the head of this intensive care, the hospital, he told us that, um, you know, that many of his friends, and I think many Ukrainians will share this expression with him, that many of his Russian friends doesn't believe that those pictures is real, that those stories about wounded people, wounded people and killed kids, there, there are, you know, uh, there are fake stories that Ukrainians are making them up just in order to uh, impress somebody or impress the world. But this is real. This is what is really we 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 as a journalist witness, and this is uh, something that doctors, as they told us, never saw ever before. Mm -hmm. They never have seen kids in this kind of conditions and heavily wounded. And Tanya, this thank you for sharing this important work with us because I know some look some people aren't going to believe it no matter what, but when you're doing this reporting and you're showing these pictures, there are going to be some people who look at it and they wonder, and they're going to ask some more questions. Tanya, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you.